Hey guys, Mr. Escamilla here with a quick lesson on spatial diffusion. Now, it is important that you take good notes on this lesson. We are going to reinforce the material in class tomorrow, so be sure that you rewind it, hit pause, take a break, watch it two or three times if you'd like. It doesn't matter. I just want you to really get the information down. First off, spatial diffusion. Diffusion refers to how something diffuses or spreads. Spatial diffusion is a distribution of ideas, products, culture, technology, languages, and so on across space to other people. Now, sometimes contact between two different cultures leads to an exchange of products, an exchange of ideas. Travelers and merchants bring the new products back to their homes. Use of these new products spread, stimulating trade. It might stimulate somebody who wants to develop something that they learned or that they saw from another place. A thousand years ago, separate cultural regions thrived around the globe. They had little to no contact with other regions of the world. Today, in one region, something happens, word quickly spreads to another. Ideas spread. And that's with the introduction of technology, the introduction of automobiles, of different modes of transportation. Now, we're going to take a look at an example of the Colombian Exchange. European and Native American cultures encountered each other for the first time in 1492. It's called the Colombian Exchange. Now, this led to the introduction of new products to both cultures. The exchange of goods between Europe and the Americas. It was immense. Europe introduced horses, pigs, chickens, goats, cattle, wheat, cannons, crossbows, and steel. Now the American or the Native Americans introduced to the Europeans tomatoes, corn, beans, potatoes, peppers, peanuts, pumpkins, tobacco. Europeans also learned how to smoke with the introduction of tobacco. But the food really improved the diet of the Europeans. Now some of the negatives of the Colombian exchange. Entire population Populations of North America of Native Americans were wiped out by warfare and European diseases such as smallpox. Also, the Europeans imported African slaves to work on the land that they had colonized. Now, a, quick, a key question that I want you to focus on and I want you to answer underneath your notes that I'm going to check tomorrow is how might history have been different if the cultures of Europe and the Americas had never come into contact. All right. How might history have been different if the cultures of Europe and the Americas had never come into contact? So with this information, I want you to uh, take, make sure you have really good notes on it, answer this key question, and tomorrow in class, I'm going to walk around, see who did the notes, see who took the notes, see who took good notes, and also see who answered this key question. That's all going to be a part of your grade. So, see you tomorrow.